keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. Oh yeah, oh yeah, good large oh, mouth. We're gonna eat that. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Austin and Beth here, Cable and Hall Outdoors. We are on the hunt for two different types of species today. I'm looking for crappie and bass. This morning, we know that it's a topwater bite. We already see them in the back of this creek here, uh, tearing it up. Me and Beth are gonna go back here, try our hand at some topwater, and um, see if we can get them. I'm gonna throw my deep diving TNR, and then we've got minnows for our crappie, and we'll see what hits. Let's get after them, guys. Get out and go fishing. All right, here we are, a little honey hole. We just caught a little bass, so we're gonna try our luck right here. Yeah, you do got a pretty good size minnow. Is that just that minnow pulling it down? I don't think so. I think you got something grabbing it by the tail and swimming with it. Here he goes, watch this. Let it, just let him take it. I don't know what they are. Might be a little bass too, I don't know. Yeah, he is a little guy, I could feel him. There's something like mine, yep. like tipped up on its side. Here we go. I think it's a little bass. Oh. Watch it, watch it, watch it. That looks like a crappie there. Get him, babe. What you got? That's what I was getting. That's a little bit bigger than what we've been getting. Yep. There you go, babe. There's my minner on the boot. A boot minner. Save him. Save the boot minner. There he is. There's our prize. <laughs> and a boot minner. All right. Something's teasing my minnow. There he goes. He's too little to take it under, though. All right. No, that's, they're too small. He's, he's running from something. Look at him. Something's got it. Something is just traveling with it, you know it. <laughs> Gosh, little bass. What'd you get, babe? Bluegill. First bluegill of the day. Very nice. Top water time. Top water time in Tennessee. Yes. Good job. <laughs> Good fish. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Oh yeah, oh yeah, good large oh, mouth. Voila. We're gonna eat that. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. We're gonna eat that. We're gonna eat that. There you go. <laughs> My gosh. Look at that thing. Whew. I got my heart rolling. You have the prize of the day, I do hey. believe. What do you think about that, babe? What was you doing? I put on this bone color deep diving to ER. Yeah and it dives probably about six feet deep. Okay. So he hit it about at the boat. That was crazy. Dang. She's using it like a crankbait. Cool deal. Dang. Well, here's some pliers. Look at his teeth. All right, guys, so 15 inches on a sauger is the minimum length to keep. Yeah, he's sitting right at 19 and a quarter. He's gonna keep just fine. All right, let's put him in the live wheel. All right. What do you think about that, babe? Rebel baits, babe. Catch everything. Show him that rebel bait magic. This is like a bone color with orange bottom. Deep diving teeny R. These are actually discontinued by yeah. Rebel, so they need to do something about that. But um, check your local Walmart's bargain bin because that's where we found all of them. Been on its bed. Yeah. It's probably coming off. What'd you catch him on? Fluke. fluke. Caught him on a fluke. White fluke. Man. That's a nice dish right there. Nice we gonna... That's a good one. About three pounder, I'd say. Yep. I'm gonna throw him back in here. Ah. 
Can I okay, just get a fish in the boat? <laughs> yeah, good fish. He kind of nailed it. Come up and slapped it, man. Come on, baby. Yeah, son. I'm on the board. I'm on the board. It looks like a 14 inch or two. Yes. Help me. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my gosh. What a struggle, bus. I knew coming off that point throwing this deep diver was going to work. I think he hit it out there one time and he came up and got it again. Probably. Let me grab the fish. Yeah. Don't measure you. Yeah, let's measure that friend. Thanks for the net, Dad. I'm much more happier now. You need to be 14 inches there, little buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's 14. Put him in there. You got one little black spot on his tail. <laughs> yeah. May felt heavier than that, but I think it was that <laughs> plug that came with it. On the left side there. Going. Oh, he's a little dang. <laughs> but you got one. Are you sure you want to move? I think they're right here. There's a whole bunch of them right there. Look at you. I about fell trying to get that <laughs> net. He's still fun though. So that's two fish off this point, and the wind's blowing in here. We caught two fish holding off this point off of crankbaits. I think we're gonna hold right here for a minute. See so if we can get a few more. Well, that's our first red-eared sunfish of the year. Yeah. Pretty cool. Caught him on a plug, random. I caught him on this little uh, bandit. bandit. A crappie and a red ear on the bandit. Crazy, right? Yeah. He got off. There's probably beds right here. I think they're on their beds, yeah. That's a keeper largemouth. Up in that muddy stuff. What are they doing up in that mud? I don't know, man. Are you 14? Nope. Uh, no. No. I'm about to fall out of the boat. Bye, friend. I love marine carpet, or I would have treble hooks in them. Who would have hung? We got a lot going on right now. I got a bird's nest. Oh gosh. Nice fish. That's a good bass. Oh yeah. He's a keeper. Get that in the boat. We want to eat him. Oh, he's got to be cool. He's got to be 14 inches. Man. He'll be close. <sighs> the way he hit it though, I thought it was like a 10 pounder. I had my heart going because I thought maybe I got one on the bed or something. He's a tough little fish. He kind of nailed it and ran away with it. I don't think he's 14 inches. To add to the fish fry. He's hitting 13. Pretty close there, buddy. That was a fun fight though. And I got you on GoPro. <laughs> okay, bye. We are on beautiful Chilhawi Lake. We're after smallmouth and whatever bites, really. <laughs> um, it is just a beautiful morning. It's about 55 degrees. Gonna be about 82 today. 
I got a fluke tied on, see how that does, a white super fluke. Man, we're after those smallmouth. They should be on their beds. Spawn time, it is uh, May 3rd, and uh, we're knocking it out. Stay with us, guys. We're gonna have a good episode for you. Cable haul outdoors, get out and go fishing. Get the net out. Now I got a perch, big perch. Big old perch. Look at that perch. What a perch. Golly, babe. That's a big one right there. Look at that. Helgramite. Soft bait. What a fish. First fish of the day, and it's Beth on a Helgramite Ned rig catching a beautiful perch. Beautiful, oh gosh, that's how you lose him right there. Beautiful fish, man. Wow. What do you think, babe? He's pretty. So you just were uh, kind of bouncing on the bottom? Just throwing it, letting it sink, and not all the way on the bottom. I was actually just kind of like slow rolling it. Like Creek Fishing Adventures guy says to do. Yeah. <laughs> so. He came up and nailed it, didn't he? Bass. That's a good one too. Wow. Got you a bluegill, babe. On the Helgramite? Yep. Cool. I think he's a uh, hybrid. Is he? I don't know, he might just be a red breast. Yeah, he... His mouth seems big though. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nice fish. Uh -huh. Good job, babe. Can't tell what it is. It's a large mouth. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I got one finally. Yay. First fish. First fish for me today. Sing songs. Catch the fish. Hey, little largemouth, he is pretty because he is in such clear water, healthy, right on them logs. It is slow fishing today, so I went to a finesse Texas rig right there. That's the money right there. That rig right there was made famous by my grandpa Ron. He showed me that, that green pumpkin worm, catch anything. Good fish, babe. Look how pretty he is. He is really pretty. Clear water bass. He was up in them logs, man. Up in them. Yeah, buddy. Yes, son. Isn't there a little large mouth? <laughs> Two. I, put, I tossed it right there. I knew he'd be sitting right there. All right, buddy. There you are. A good old chill Howie. This is Abrams Creek, actually. Abrams Creek largemouth. Go back in your home and live. I'll catch you all day long. Yeah, a lot better than the other ones. It's coming up. Probably about a 14 incher. Thank uh, you, babe. Close. close, yeah, he's not 14. But hey, man, come right back out of that creek and there he is. Exactly where I threw at, man. I was like, there's gonna be bass right there. They're holding close to those logs, man. And the hook came right out. That's fun. There he is. We're getting bigger. <laughs> Slowly getting bigger, like inch by inch. Pretty fish though. Man, they're gorgeous. Don't break your rod. Hi, <laughs> buddy. There he goes. 
Yeah. It's really cool to see them come up from the deep, like when you first set them up. Yeah. They all of a sudden start coming up and they flash. That is so cool to me. Can't get no better. I know they're not big fish, but they're fun. And they're picking it right up off the bottom. Yeah. I'm letting it sit for a second, not doing nothing. All of a sudden I feel a twitch twitch. Looky here, looky here. What you seeing, babe? This. What happened? I don't know. All this water just pulled up right there. That's probably just a release from that spring. Look at that guy. That would get one right there. He's pretty. Bye, friend. Come on, pig. It's a 14. That's definitely a 14 incher. Come on, buddy. Get him in the boat today. Tell you what, it is a good day for bass fishing with the worm. Gotta be weird about it. Man, you're close. I just need a 14 incher. Not quite. He looked like it though coming up. That clear water always throws me off. We are getting close, but no cigarette. <laughs> All right. And we'll get that release on you, bad boy. There he goes. Jump for me! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I ain't getting that one out. Hey guys, Cable Hall Outdoors, we're signing out, finishing today's video. Hope you get to uh, see some pretty cool stuff. Beth caught an awesome perch. I caught a few bass. Really fun time out here on a beautiful Chilhawi Lake. If you ever get a chance to come down here, I would do it. Stay tuned for the next video. Get out and go fishing.